What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and in this Unreal Engine 5.6 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create start, run, and stop, run animation states in your animation blueprint. So as you can see here, I've got this third person character, and when I start running and stop running, he's got these nice start, run, and stop, run animations, which we're going to take straight from Lyra and use to drastically improve the locomotion animations which in the third person template don't have the start move and stop move states so they go straight from idle into running and back to idle we're going to add the start run and stop run states which if i put this into slow motion you can see it's very very smooth here with very little foot sliding and we're even going to change our max acceleration and our braking deceleration at runtime to give you a bit more of a fluid feel, a bit more of a weighty feel to your character and make everything very smooth and very natural and blend very well indeed. We are even going to dictate how far into our stop run animation it should start playing depending on how fast we are moving. So as you can see here, if I start to move and then I stop to move very, very quickly, it will uh, change how far into the stop running animation it will play and it will have dynamic braking deceleration based on how fast we're moving as well. So it's all very, very smooth. And if I change this back to full speed, you'll see this looks very clean and very smooth indeed and everything blends and looks very very nice indeed but just before we get started guys if you like what we do here at pitchfork academy and you'd like to connect with more like-minded people access to our discord server mizzo's dizzo is available for just one dollar fifty per month via patreon the discord server is becoming a pretty cool place to be there's heaps of cool and very funny and very helpful and smart people as well as an integrated AI chatbot to help you with your Unreal Engine 5 related questions. And your $1.50 per month goes towards that AI chatbot. It's actually a paid model, so it's very clever indeed, as well as helping to support us and what we do here at Pitchfork Academy. But without further ado, let me show you how to do this.